Welcome back to We Care A Lot. I'm half the podcast, Mel. I'm the other half, Sam. Hi. Hey, guys. We just came back from a crazy episode Ooh. last week. Hot um, off the tea. Hot off the tea. We're going to talk about it more in Glowing Hour, but if you haven't listened to last week's episodes, you're going to want to listen. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, it was very crazy and cathartic, I would say. Very cathartic. Um. But yeah, give those a listen. But welcome to a new week. Hello. It's feeling fresh. It is. I don't know if it's just like I'm wearing a fresh outfit to, to my own closet. Yeah, this, uh, if you're watching, Sam got this shirt from me and Logan. We found it for her at the thrift store and it's give you a look. It's giving um, homestead core. It's giving I should have gone to the county fair in this, but I <gasps> oh. was too hungover and I did it. <laughs> <laughs> like it, the pics would have... Eight. They would have ate. It's okay. We'll take some of you today, maybe. Today outside. Yeah. Maybe we'll maybe we'll hit the streets today and do something. <laughs> we do need to go get skincare, personally. So oh, I was going to say, maybe we see a movie. Not go see a movie because see movie I'm in. on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> but there's like a lot of movies I've been wanting to watch. I just watched The Quiet Place 2 with my oh, dad. Oh, so good. Or day one. Dude, sorry. Wait, you see. Oh, day one. Yeah, day one. Oh, period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so good. Yeah. My dad was like, there's two other ones. He was like, yeah and i was like well, it's kind of cool that he saw that one first and then going like into, into the future the, yeah that's really yeah. cool recommend that movie if you haven't seen it anyway. the cat. um yeah i can't talk about the cat it's so <laughs> cute how did it not die literally how did it not die and I, I knew it wasn't gonna die i just knew i was like they couldn't they literally i know the series has done some fucked shit yeah but i was like there's just no way they're there's gonna no piss way. off the animal lovers to you're that right. extent you're right at least couldn't. maybe the next movie, maybe the next one, they'll kill off the cat. I don't think there could be another one. But only if they replace it with, like, a dog. <laughs> like, if there's another animal introduced, no, because then I think they could. No, a dog would fucking die. Like, I don't think... Yeah, a dog... I think all the dogs in lo- this world probably died. Right. Like, my, I was telling my dad, like, the cat, just so quiet. It's a quiet... No bell little, on his collar? You're no. chilling. Quiet little cat. Like, I'm sorry, but Harley <laughs> and Frankie... Oh... There's an update. Oh, personal life update. I have another dog. <laughs> yeah, we haven't talked about that. I think because it happened hot off hot the off week the, that we did that the episode. Hot week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Logan and I adopted a new puppy. She's actually a puppy. She's literally four and a half months. Her name is Frankie. I love the name. Um, she's named after Frank Ocean. <laughs> of course. Actually? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. T. I almost named my car Frankie. That's but I decided cute. not to because I wanted to save for our next dog. Oh, well, this, then there you go. But we always envisioned Frankie being a boy, but Frankie's a girl. I love so. it more that way. And Harley's also a girl, and we just have, like, kind of androgynous names for our dogs. I guess Harley's pretty, like, feminine, but it's not. But Harley it could be a guy. I mean, it's just, like, Harley Davidson that makes us think, like, man. My own. Yeah. Yeah, but... um that's my new life um yeah should we maybe we'll talk deeply about it in quarter three recap yeah period because okay. I'm, I'm it's a it's very fresh also yeah there'll be more to share when we get to that um what were you just saying though before that <sighs> oh just... that the dogs would be dead yeah, yes absolutely. the dogs would be dead and my cats i think would also die and i would die for my cats so you know what mm. i mean like louis would be meowing because he's hungry yeah and i'd be like we're going together we're all i'm just gonna it's, it's a quick death yeah it is i will say it's they quick. just kind of yeah bulldoze you and you're gone so quite sad <laughs> anyway and then i was sad after the movie <laughs> just kidding um but yeah this is the fit oh yes what's going on um we didn't talk about the aftermath of my birthday either i don't think because oh, that no. was also hot off so quarter three recap is going to be really really hot really hot <laughs> another good one quarter three was crazy but kind of going along with the birthday setting of things yes we can't shut up about how we're both 27 now because it's honestly kind of insane to yeah. think that we started this podcast when we were in our 20 20 23 22 yeah 22 going to 23 i think so and now we're 27 Oh my it's god, five years. Quite insane. Four to five. But we kind of saw this like concept of like what do you find most important in your life? And we thought it would be like kind of interesting to relate it to being twenty seven and like moving into for you the next year of your life. For me, maybe the next like seven months of my life. 
Um, oh my god, the other day I was like, I've always thought my half. This is fucking stupid of me, also. But like, I always thought my half birthday was on September in September. It's like, August. It's fucking October. Oh, <laughs> like I can't do math. Um, so stupid. Yeah, of six me. months out from April. So anyway, I think mine's February. My connection to uh, Halloween feels very. Oh, there um, you go. The spooky time is feels very uh. Aligned? So, so, yeah, aligned, solidified, like why, the reasons why. It makes why sense. Why you love it, yeah. Um, but anyway. I've so, never celebrated a half birthday, have you? No. I think it's kind of weird. I think it's a bit much. It's especially bit much. considering how much I celebrate my birthday during my birthday. I'm like, okay, maybe we don't need to do all that, too. Listen, especially like how we've been feeling about celebrating my birthday and the right. pressures. I don't want to do it again. It's, it's already Halloween for you. On Halloween, your birthday, you know what that you know? is? Yeah you're right it's your internal your own version it's my own version of, of celebrating <laughs> no one is saying anything to you but you feel like it but it's i about feel you. like it's my birthday <laughs> everyone got dressed up for me oh my goodness um anyway Anywho. so yeah what is most important to us in this 27 or as a 27 year old we did not prepare for this uh i feel like it's gonna be more like a therapy like coaxing it out of each other yeah like so tell me tell me so tell Are me you gonna tell me not like that but probably like what's happening in 27 you know i feel like for myself it's very much in the grind of like figuring out what the next five years of my life is gonna be like oh my god she's a planner (laughs) she's not so much a track star (laughs) (laughs) not so much like planning but just like even just like inching at the the thoughts of like long term i was scared talking about it like, but get like getting married or like having kids like i think that's a big reason why we got a dog was because another dog because we w- always wanted to have like two dogs and then like when we have kids those will be like their childhood dogs mm-hmm. that sounds insane that we like wanted that so badly but i feel like it's like i didn't want to get a puppy when we had a kid like I don't, I don't want those two things together because mm-hmm. it sounds awful and horrible and yeah. tiring. Like you, you probably you're thinking you would have waited another uh, until maybe eight they're, years if till they're in their teens yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, so getting in those thoughts of like that's what's most important to me is like kind of planning out or like not even so like specifically, but just mapping out the kind of future needs I have to have like before making those bigger commitments. I guess um so with that being said getting a dog yeah does that mean you have a plan for kids timeline or like marriage and then kids or what is like what is next for you yeah i think like we are i mean i can't really speak for logan because we kind of like bounce off a lot but like i'm okay with having like kids in my 30s logan is more starting yeah more set on like before hitting 30 and so we're getting there um yeah logan's older than us by a year by a year so she just turned 28 um <laughs> so you have two years less than two years in her mind correct. or where she's at correct personally. but i think time is like moving so fast that i'm like <laughs> you're like we're not gonna get there it's okay <laughs> i think like we're both like understand like i think when we were 23 and talking about like yeah oh, 29 sure. you're gonna be pregnant like for sure that would have no, that literally, but like, girl, we're I was supposed to be married year. at 25 and have kids by 28. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> next year? With who? <laughs> I think like even like a year ago, we would say like, yeah, at 29, like you can get pregnant, but I don't want to be pregnant. Like three or to four years from now. But I think like as time's moving forward and things are happening, like she just started her career in real estate. I don't think that that's like, like kids are going to be a priority for a while until she feels established. So... Yeah. I think things change and I think that's another thing that I feel really is important to me is getting comfortable with adjusting with like like change the changes 27 is about getting comfortable with change yeah it just it just only took like a fucking decade you know it took 27 full years but that's okay but that's fine it's better than more better late than never right yeah, so. exactly um but yeah that's I guess where I'm starting this whole uh what's important to me vibe at 27 yeah yeah mm. getting a little more like here are the you're getting like more plans the, i don't like the word settled I, I really don't yeah i think established is a good word yeah i think definitely when people say settled like i feel like i don't know just mm-hmm. like already had conversations yeah. about how i feel that like being one of the only like people in the friend group who's in a relationship can sometimes feel 
a little bit isolating so like i the word settled is even like a you're really digging me in that hole aren't you bitch you know <laughs> i said oh she's gonna drop off the face of the planet she's settled that's why that word yeah it's it's, it's not, not fun and it's in you can be settled even as a single person i think but using the word that we like established i think you could be established single or not like mm-hmm. If I were to have picked that word, which I'm not, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my word. Um, but if I was, and coming from the single lens, I feel like it would be like established in my career and like in dating and like establishing what I want or, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. I just would have a different mm-hmm. take on it. Totally. But settled is horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what is something that you feel like you are focusing on? A little Um, bit more, at least, if not. Yeah. As you know, I'm potentially going abroad Mm -hmm. at the end of... Which is so funny, because we just ended up... We just talked about wanting to do, like, a trip at some point, and... And somehow it just, like, actually came to fruition. Mm -hmm. Um, Not to my own effort or trying, but that's, I think, what is kind of part of my, like, for 27 I want... I feel like I've spent so much of the past probably like five or six years like saving and living in a like lack mindset of like things I don't have and things that I need and etc whatever that I was like okay this opportunity came I can sit here and say no I want to save that few thousand dollars or whatever it is I'm gonna spend but in the long run how much is that like really gonna set me back if I spend it you know what I mean that was kind of the mindset I had and yeah. like logan's been telling us me all of us for years like you're abundant like money's abundant it's always gonna come to you and i, I think it's like the if you're having the hoarding mindset of like yeah. keeping money so like savings not a bad thing and for also sure. <laughs> don't take this and and do and what run, i do and, run and not it. save your money but like i think it's very helpful to think of money as like an energy exchange so like if you're out and you know you have to purchase groceries think about it like i'm nourishing my body and also giving money into this like this system that then will feed somebody else as well with like finances like it's just moving it's just circulating yeah instead of thinking it's just going away it's like depleting going yeah 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 yeah. like i not necessarily had that mindset like all together but i think i deprived myself of a lot of like joy like little joys yeah like obviously i do coachella and things like that but i always justified it because it was like oh well i'm not spending that much because we're doing this like we're staying close by we're close by we're staying with people's friends like we're doing it in the cheapest way you possibly can which is true yeah uh but with that being said this next coachella if you guys listen (laughs) you know we might not be doing that we might be spending a little more money this year or doing it differently and just like being open more open i guess to like i guess in the same way like being open to change and like yeah adaptability and like at the end of the day when else in my life am i gonna have no children no responsibilities that are like necessarily tying me down like my parents can watch my cats i don't have rent i can spend my money and go somewhere for two weeks and still work while i'm gone like i'm sure for the rest of my life i'm not gonna be able to say that for the rest of my life but i don't think that's realistic so like why am i gonna say like no to this crazy opportunity and basically shut myself off because i'm like but money like say yeah. it's not like I, and it's not like i don't have it that'd be one thing if i was like mm, i'm just gonna get a loan for this trip i'm pretty sure you guys would be like okay maybe like don't go maybe, SD. Maybe yeah maybe maybe do save your money but yeah yeah i think that's maybe what this year is going to be more about like saying yes more and like actually it is a practice for me anyways like Mm -hmm. actually feeling abundant because i do get pit like pit feelings and anxiety in my stomach not necessarily like always when i spend money or anything but just like like saying yes and like the anxiety of like what could come up or like whatever like even this trip a lot could go wrong. I could have to buy a whole nother flight or a whole nother my all my luggage goes missing. I don't know. There's like a million things that could go wrong. And I'm just like open to that as opposed to like when or if something happens that's yeah. not ideal. I'm like devastated. Got it. I'm just like, oh. Yeah. This is part of the adventure. And like when I'm eighty years old, I'm gonna be like, remember that one time when they lost my luggage? When they <laughs> lost my luggage. Or like yeah. when we went to Coachella and then we ended up having to camp 
one day and not camp the other day. Like, I don't know, just like crazy stories. Yeah, there's, a, there's a fly in here. It's pestering us. <laughs> Literally just <laughs> landed on my coffee. It's going to be cracked out and probably die in the next like three minutes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just feel like, what the fuck is life? And maybe that's it too, like getting closer to 30 is like... And what do you have to show for it in a way of like, okay, you saved all this money for how long and how much have you done? Like, where have you gone? Like, I, yeah. we were just talking about it. I literally haven't gone on a vacation abroad anywhere, even Mexico, since I was in college. And that's crazy. Yeah, I feel like the last trip I remember you going on was either Mexico City or China. I think it was Mexico City. Yeah, it was Mexico City. Yeah. And I feel like that was literally years ago. And so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I tried to pull you out of the country a few times, at least to Mexico. You did, and we almost tried to go to freaking Hawaii for my birthday. We were we we had the ideas; they just never made it out of the. I group think chat. they stop. They need to stop, or I guess they need to be pulled out at of this the point. group chat. Yeah, they have to be drug. <laughs> Is that even a word? Drug dragged D- out, uh, dug up, <laughs> dug up, drug up. <laughs> whatever dragged it is. out yeah whatever the fuck you would call it okay anywho so schools. it's it's the group chats need or the trips the ideas they need to make it out of the group chat and into yeah. reality yeah and and you so know what actually they are i have a proposition oh what is the proposition i have a new idea <laughs> <laughs> okay what is it which also this is very aligned to me as well like oh change the group chat or like the group chat is my head the ideas <laughs> girl the group chat <laughs> having ideas and then i never execute I never execute them. Well, I was going to say... So, okay. Say your idea anyway, first. Anyway, so my yeah, idea is... Say your idea first. <laughs> so, um, Brittany's boyfriend, Logan's sister, my partner, Logan. I'm going through the chain. There you guys go. Um, <laughs> he was here, like, two weeks ago. Um, mm-hmm. And we were having a conversation because he was, like, really sad to leave. And it was, like, dropping him off at the airport. Yeah. And he was telling us about how... I was like, oh, do you have any travels, like, coming up? Because like, he's always, you know, out and about it's he's european <laughs> yeah europeans just be doing the um thing. and so he was like yeah actually my next trip's like in the middle of september and i was like oh cool where are you going he was like i actually don't know he was saying oh, how his friend group fun it's a group of like six i believe yeah and they like have teamed up in twos and every year they plan like a surprise like boys vacation they team up in twos like the two of them plan it every year yeah and they plan the stay, they plan the flights, and they don't know until they get to the airport. And it's so fucking cool. And like, I, my that's my, fun. My situation was like, how do you know what's packed? And he's like, you don't. And I was like, okay, I don't. Not him being like, you I was don't. like, that's such a man thing to do. Anyway, depends but, how long we're gone. Could we let that fly? Yeah. And also, like, is it like mid weather? Like, if it was like snow, it's extreme a, weather, I think they, like, they obviously like know the time of year, and I think they. Like, I don't think it's, like, super varying in Europe, like, how cold it... You know what I mean? Compared like, to, yeah. Oh, so, see, but then for... Th- I mean, this is an excuse, 100%. But for them, it's, like, traveling somewhere is way more iconic. Like, close to them. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, oh, we're going to Italy for the yeah. boys' trip. I mean, and I'm like, we're like, going to Vegas. They've done, like, the Middle East. They've done, like, things like that. So, it's, like... Shit. It's not... How old are they? I think one of them did, like, Vegas one year. So, it's not that is always far for them. in Europe. It's, like, it's anywhere. So anyway, that's crazy. That was, and I was super inspired by that. Yeah. And I was like, okay, but how can we make that a little more realistic? So I'm thinking <laughs> we'll get our friends together, make a group, and have like teams, and we have to do something quarterly. So everyone has to, oh, like has, quarterly small trips, yeah, as or opposed like to act, one big, not even one. trips, but like even activities. Like it could be oh, a trip. Cute. We can decide what feels best, but maybe we start with just activities. So like everyone does a low, you com- know, not low commitment, but yeah monetary monetary commitment. monetary commitments are smaller so like i like this you know this like in the okay corner. well then i called dibs on joining aquamarine that you're hosting <laughs> bitch <laughs> ass you said no that's mine you can't have that no i'm just kidding but i like this idea thank you you're welcome <laughs> but it's not fully mine but i did think like you know and i i want it's almost like our the friends you made that i monet yeah so yes. like they they're very serious about their book club very serious i want to be very serious about this like yeah you're not going to be in this group you can't be half ass and you cannot not plan something like everyone in it needs to take commit. a hold of the fucking job that you're going to be given yeah and also commit also obviously like financially and stuff but anyway 
that was my idea and i it could be something like a fucking paint and sip night it can be pottery it can be like we all fucking have to go to six flags you know like something stupid side note yeah i think i might have vertigo or something no i like i think that's no 20 i think that's 27 <laughs> like my mom has it mm. so like for sure i totally could um yeah i think my dad has it I've, yeah i think after like my hangover i've been dizzy a lot <laughs> Like, I don't know if vertigo gets activated, if any doctors in the comments let us know. want to let me know if drinking excessively can activate vertigo. Maybe, like, the equilibrium of your fucking brain. I, don't <laughs> I know. wasn't even that tossed. I mean, I was definitely drunk, but That's whatever. what I was saying. Like, I was telling Logan that, like, I was like, yeah, she felt awful for the next, like, basically week. And she was like, really? And I was like, oh, yeah, I don't even know how, because we, like, don't, we didn't drink as much as we normally do. Like, yes, we drink a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, it wasn't abnormal to one of our, like, we nights like out. We weren't, pounding anything either. It wasn't, like, nonstop no. shots or, like, nonstop drinking. Maybe it was the mixing. It was probably the mixing, honestly. Because I forgot that you guys had, like, more jello multiple jello shots, jello in the shots morning, yeah. and then you had tequila <laughs> yeah. and June shine. It's just a lot of different... Yeah. Anyways. Any, anywho, a side note from Vertigo. Back Six to the Flags end. is all I was thinking <laughs> about. Oh, but also, off limits, I do not want to go to yeah, Six, Six Flags. Flags. If we're doing guys. a theme park, it's not that one. But oh. anyway, so, but I was like, do we have a cap? Like, or is that like, like up spend. to the person? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, but then we have to tell them at the beginning of the quarter, like, what your idea is and how much money to save for, like, that activity, you know? I think we could have, like, an overall cap, like... I think it should be like $100 limit per person if that whatever if that's yeah. what we decide. The $100 limit per person, but we might not even spend that. Like the person at the beginning of the quarter will be like, "My idea is actually a paint and sip and I'm hosting it and if everyone chipped in $5, I could cover the cost of everything else or something." Yeah. And it would be like, "Period." Yeah. And if other ones was like, "Uh, I want to spend the whole 100 and we're going to go to an airbnb in whatever yeah for a weekend i mean it's like saving probably like 33 dollars a month technically or right. sorry no 25 dollars because it's for the it quarters three months <laughs> yes yes because there's four quarters yes yes Math. so <laughs> it would be like 33 dollars a month that you'd be technically saving for your activity but right. it doesn't always have to be spent that way yeah anyway so that's the idea i um, like it it's a lower commitment than um a thousand dollars every year or more yes and i think it's also a fun way because like i feel like with like varying schedules and whatever like it's we always complain like we never get uh, uh together enough whatever like and i think this could be the way that we There's just need something that holds us accountable it. accountable yeah because it is so it is so hard for someone to just be like let's commit this is the date i'm free are you free that date but mm -hmm. if we all have like a pre-existing reason to like go to something then yeah it's like kind of already like ooh, i already know in my head i have to set aside a day or two days or whatever for yeah. our whatever we name it I and i mean like i feel like we're all relatively like the same in the types of things we like to do or whatever but it also gives the availability for someone who like has special interests um, new to try new things or have like their friends else, yeah. yeah and like it's kind of like you can't say no and you just have to do it anyway <laughs> you know <laughs> like and it and it'll be a fun way to connect to one another in those ways of like that's true you know i feel like katie has a lot of ideas that we're like oh my god i'm she's gonna make us do an escape room or some shit no one she's day. gonna make us do like the star wars fucking burlesque show yeah i think also like love her it'll be an experience <laughs> <laughs> i already said to logan like me and her cannot be in a group and <laughs> i feel like together. yeah playing together i feel like it should be like people who are not not so like close close that way it's like, like that. we're all really like it can't be the people who are like brought into the group together yeah like you and me can't be me and katie can no. maybe it'd be like victoria and logan yeah me and brie yeah huh? yeah, anyway. yeah exactly <laughs> if so that that's helps you guys plan. knowing none of these people <laughs> that's another thing is like i think that having experiences with my friends but also just like having a core group to really like live life with is extremely important to me now like i don't i mean i am always like down to meet more people and mm -hmm. i'm i'm also open to those adjustments and changes <laughs> but i think that like i also really want to solidify that like that group that i can go to more and because i feel like every time we have like a friendsgiving or a dinner yeah. or like a birthday i feel like oh yeah i forgot like how much i love all these people and how much like we all can get together yeah and i think this is like a really 
cool a way, way to do to it do more that. often. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow! Now I'm thinking like, like what am I gonna plan? <laughs> yeah. What would I do? I I'm gonna try to have. Well, I'm inviting people to the movie night that I'm not <laughs> gonna include in that. I think. <laughs> you said um if you're so. listening and you don't get invited to this great big old idea, don't, don't listen. So so sorry. I'm just saying because like it's like a more like core group of friends, but yeah, the movie night I'm inviting some other friends that I have. So anyway. <laughs> I was gonna but that's always nice to have. That's always nice to have. Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. So I think we should talk about it during um, the quarter three recap, though, like the beer pong tournament and just like yeah, 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 the vibes. So you guys will hear about that later. But I agree that does sound really fun, and like and like there's so many things to do that we just don't do because we're like, meh. Yeah, it's also overwhelming. Like there's so many things to do, and then it's also like. You want to build in rest into your freaking schedule mm-hmm. at this age. Yeah. So, like, just knowing when things are. I think that's also what works so well for this book club is um, they were, like, we're dead serious. Like, don't fuck around and come in and then don't respond to anybody, whatever. I kind of like that they scared me into it a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Like, you but sure then, you want to do this? Because I'm like, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But then also we're like, but as long as you're, like, communicative and let us know you can't make it to one, like, that's, that's also fine. okay. Yeah. Like, don't feel like this is also a group where you're like uh yeah so that's what makes it work work though is like it is people who are dead serious but also will communicate if something comes up and you don't have to feel bad about it talk about it (laughs) yeah just fucking tell somebody yeah but anyway (sighs) what's another little uh situation for you (laughs) like finding the love of my life i don't know that'd be great at some point soon but i'm also like not tripping (laughs) I think there's like a somewhere. I mean, we've talked about this before, but I feel like there should be like a somewhere in between where you can be like, yeah, I'm very open, open and almost committed to like finding my person. But you're not like rushing, rushing anything. Yeah. But I think stating that to the universe, to the universe um, is very important, to be honest. I feel like you you can't be wishy washy with her because she'll give you wishy washy. Oh, and has she given me wishy-washy before wishy-washy-washy oh she's giving me the wishy-washer in the whole machine like god uh, <laughs> had a laundry room at one point uh anyways yeah i i think i would be good in a relationship right now i think you would too um i think it would like maybe test some some new fun things it would it would hit a new solidified in but a new little cycle yeah <laughs> going on in my brain probably but i don't know i don't like i don't need one i don't want one or whatever i just kind of impatient and i want to know who are you you would want one i don't think you need one yeah yeah. okay yeah i guess but like want one in the way of like when people are like i just want a boyfriend so they can like cuddle and like whatever i'm like i honestly forgot what it's like to cuddle and i don't really care (laughs) i don't care about her you're not even a cuddler so to your friends i can't not to my friends not really much of a cuddler it's funny because i've seen photos of like me katie and victoria in high school like cuddling in in like katie's tiny bed (laughs) and i'm literally like good for us because i would never today no i'm just kidding i just not big on touching like did you see that (gasps) she spilled um no i do cuddle in relationships come on now i don't deprive anybody of physical affection that's rude (laughs) (laughs) it's just so different i don't know i feel it is but it's just it's funny because i don't really like wouldn't perceive it as like so um Uh, you a a cuddler in a relationship i would say i see i wonder what exes would say they're like that bitch they're like that bitch needy that bitch needs cuddles <laughs> she wouldn't leave me alone no probably <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> i've been anxious attachment dude i probably was anyways that's why like when you're not in a relationship but you like pull back the anxiousness you're like mm-hmm. nope need nobody i literally am like that <sighs> send it a little too far but hey maybe i'll meet someone in europe possibly girl that would be so insane i was gonna say don't move there but maybe do mm. and maybe i move too then we all, then that'll be the catalyst for us all to leave. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know if I could commit to Europe like that. I recently like looked through my twenty three and me again. Mm-hmm. And on my colonizer side, I um I'm from like this like 
beach area of Spain. So I'm like, okay, Perry, no wonder I love the ocean. My ancestors S- loved it. That's Spanish where they live. beaches, I wonder, are they rocky? I don't know. It looks beautiful, though. Yeah. My dad was trying to convince us not to, or not us, but me, to not go to Greece when we go on this trip. Because that's, oh. like, a, a potential place oh, that why? we could go from there. And he's just like, everyone I know says it's not worth it. It's, like, just you see it and then you leave. And I was like, right. I want to see it and then leave. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that from anybody, actually. He said you should go to Italy instead. I'm like, well, right. Well, period, Obviously, but- like, duh. And, he's, and then he starts listing, like, the Colosseum. And I'm like, well, yeah yes of course i want to do all those things but yeah don't take me away from greece like that (laughs) rude (sighs) okay anyways 27 i just i am very curious to see what the rest of our 20s has for us same i think like going back a little bit to the even just the idea of like traveling and stuff like or like having these like set things I think it's also, like, getting ourselves comfortable so that our 30s, like, when... It's, like, getting a routine almost, like, a yearly routine. Mm. That sounds crazy. But, like, a set life almost that, like... An established life. An established life. life. Yeah. Crazy concept. It's just crazy. (laughs) An established life so that when, like, other elements get added in, children, partners, whatever, that you know that stays stable but then the rest of like you're ever you growing I, I think it's a lot less about like establishing life and establishing just like the core of you yeah like that is the end of our 20s is probably at least for us in our scenario I know some people in their 20s that are not anywhere near yeah. close figuring that out I mean, anyways like in our last episode yeah, in our last episode that person's very far away uh but for us i feel like we are getting closer towards establishing like our core belief system and values sure. that we will pass on to our friends our children if we choose to have them our family like all these things start coming to like actually like, because i i feel like when you're like 18 to like 23 or 4 you're like you think you know everything that you believe in and you want and like you're so headstrong about it yeah and then like you live a little more life which i'm sure this is like a cycle of things of like and then you have children and then you're like oh i actually don't know yeah. that exact thing anymore or whatever but i do think like heading into your 30s is why they always say like the 30s is the best for yeah. women specifically i think is who says that but like you just are established in yourself like a lot more i don't even want to say fully but like a lot more yeah yeah and i feel like that's already like kind of like creeping in not in like a bad way but like it's starting to seep in where i start to feel a little more confident maybe yeah i guess so because i was gonna say like i feel more confident in saying like i'm a good person yeah with flaws right but I'm a good person. Same, yeah. And, like, I can say that. At 21, I probably would have gaslit myself into, into believing, being like, you, yeah. Anyone's narrative of, like, well, maybe you don't know fucking anything. And yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so, 27, be good to us. Be good to Continue us. Continue to be good to us. I do feel like these next views are going to be good. I think so, too. I think... I think we're all feeling a little more again established but also like like life is going by so quickly that we need to like actually live it yes living in the present (laughs) um and i think that's helping everybody because i feel like at the end of the day we're all kind of aligning on the same thoughts and like needs and cares or whatever so i don't know i agree yeah lots more to come these boots i feel like are giving established life for some reason don't boots on just farm. give that boots just give established oh my god they're still so new are they yeah mm. i feel like they resold this like it's a new soul probably thank you but they're so nice thank you to those people yeah <laughs> it's really save nice. me a buck or two for real <laughs> anyway anyway so do you think we have any more i don't think so i feel like that's like the overall picture of like, I feel like the picture is friendship living in the present Li- living in the present friendship and open to change open to change and adaptability yeah. and establishing yourself there's a lot there's sounds, a lot it's very there. random but you know it all comes together it does make sense in my head so <laughs> <laughs> hopefully it makes sense in everybody else's 
All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Don't forget to catch us in Glowing Hour. But if you are on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're on any other platform like Spotify or Apple, make sure you follow the podcast page. Um, I think it will notify you when there's another new episode from us. So if you want to keep yourself updated, please go ahead and do that. And then go ahead and follow us on our socials at We Care A Lot Pod. And we'll catch you in Glowing Hour on Friday. Bye. Bye.